Ellsworth Kelly was born in 1923, so he's almost 90 years old. And he's widely considered the most important living abstract artist. He's had a long career. Primarily, the, the work that he's made came out of his work in the 40s and 50s. He, was, he served in World War II and then went to Paris. And it was there that he fell in love with abstract art, with Kandinsky and Mondrian and Malevich and the great masters of that modern movement. When he came back to the States in the 50s, he found a new uh, sort of source of inspiration in the art that was being made at that time by Jackson Pollock and Mark Rothko, which has come to be known as abstract expressionism. He realized, though, that rather than following their footsteps, he could actually marry the large scale that, that they were working on with the abstract art that he'd learned about in Paris. And he developed a, a type of abstraction known as hard edge. So rather than the gestural spill of a Jackson Pollock poured painting, his work is all about the sort of smooth lines and, and hard edge forms. And that's what you see in the Dartmouth panels. So Ellsworth Kelly made the Dartmouth panels as a site-specific work. In other words, he knew that the back wall of Spalding was available to him, almost like a canvas on which he could then apply his paints. And the genius of this piece is the way he handled the color and the size. I think if those panels were any bigger or any smaller, they wouldn't work. And if the colors, if you take the orange, for example, if the orange was any darker, it would blend into the brick behind it. If it was any brighter, it would look gaudy and, and, and just, you know, too much for that space. So what he does is he finds exactly the right color and exactly the right size, and he animates the whole wall and I, I think they just look incredible when you see them in person. Then when you get back from them and you see the whole space, the, the new Black Family Visual Arts Center, the Hood Museum behind it, the Hopkins Center for the, the Arts, all of those spaces are, are connected by this piece. That's what a great piece of public art can do. It can take an existing physical area of something like a campus like Dartmouth and animate it and make it dynamic. So I'm often asked this question. Couldn't a fifth grader do this? And I think one of the things that always perplexes me is we would never say Einstein's E equals MC squared is gibberish. You know, we kind of understand that, that, that that's a scientific formula and needs to be respected. And, and it's understood as something complex and difficult that you have to grapple with and grasp to understand. Abstract art is like that. Abstract art came out of a moment in time namely the early 20th century. It had utopian aspirations. These artists felt that their work could change the world and have an impact on it. And I think that if you look at the Dartmouth panels that Ellsworth Kelly has made, they, they, the scale and the ambition of them, they relate art to architecture. And they do have this ambition that they can change the world or at least the environment around them. They are deceptively simple. What they really are are aircraft grade aluminum. So they're designed to, to, to sort of battle the elements and survive. He, he wants them there permanently. The color choices are also so crucial to it. I think that the, that the colors that Ellsworth chose are, are just absolutely right. And it took a lifetime of working. Remember, this is an artist who's almost 90 years old. He's had a huge career, an impressive career. And from the very beginning, he was interested in art, and how it relates to its environment. So he brought something like a seven decade career's worth of looking and thinking and making art to make these, these Dartmouth panels be amongst the greatest works he's, works he's ever made. I think a lesser artist would have misjudged the size of, of the pieces, would have misjudged the colors that were needed. I think that, that what Ellsworth did here is absolutely remarkable. It's a tremendous coup for the Dartmouth pan, uh, panels to come to Dartmouth for the students to Im interact with them. Remember, they can often sit on the grass in front and contemplate them. And even the town of Hanover and the visitors, it's wonderful for people to just drive by and see them. This is what great public art can do. I think it can change the environment in which we live for the better.